uh, this whole thing just just does not look good if you're if you're a Russian looking at what's happening. And sooner or later, we will cross a line, and there will be a response. Putin's made it clear: do another military thing like this in Syria, and we will respond, and we will respond militarily. That's not good words. Mm -hmm. You know, this is Daniel. I haven't seen. To be frank with you, I have not seen tensions this high and the pressure on the Russian leadership this high since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Wow. I lived through that as a boy. I remember the tension in the country. I have not seen the United States, well, let, let's be honest, under the Cuban Missile Crisis, President Kennedy chose very carefully a measured response to that provocation. Yes. That he thought would be the way to avoid, you know, the war hawks in the pentagram and give Khrushchev some maneuvering room. Because he had his hardliners, you know, pressing, you know, push the button, let's get let's get it on. <laughs> exactly. You know, I I strongly suspect that Putin is under the same sort I mean Think of Vladimir Zhirinovsky just came out in, today and said, you know, we ought to we ought to retaliate militarily against the United States. Well, so, he can get a lot of support now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So Putin has his own hardliners that he's got to deal with. And unlike Kennedy, this does not appear to be a rationalized, well thought out response in any way, shape or fashion. 